So this is a organization video and I am planning on reorganizing the entire um, kitchen today. So not um, reorganizing any of the food or anything like that really um, just everything in all the other cabinets um, if you guys want to do if you guys do want to check out my um, my food organization uh, my stockpile video I'll link it below um, that is from my killing it with coupons um, in my stockpile so um, I had all of that organized over the summer and I realized that all of our um, like cooking and you know appliances and stuff like that and pots and pans all of those cabinets really need to be reorganized. So I want to do a video to kind of show you guys as well um, how everything is currently put and um, how I'm going to reorganize it. So the cabinet, start, which is kind of a crazy cabinet, is all of our Tupperware and then on the top is all of our... Um, pictures and stuff like that. So this is the cabinet that really needs the most work done um, because it's crazy in here. Then underneath this we have a little Everything garage. in here is kind of smaller kitchen appliances. I know it's really dark, um, but we have like our blender and we have an ice machine or a snow cone maker in here too. Um, we have our old coffee pot. We have um, steamer and just some other stuff as well. Coffee grounds uh, or coffee grinder in in here too so that's what's in that little one and I'm probably not gonna be able to get it closed um, and then up here this is probably one of the more organized cabinets these are all of our plates and then we keep bowls over here up here is basically all the measuring cups and some other little tiny and little then up things at the top we keep all of the water bottles and then up and here is our cups and at the top we keep some water bottles that's one other thing that I have to go through because we have way 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 too many water bottles and we need to get rid of some of them and then cups and then normally easier um, more plasticky kind of cups are normally down in here these are supposed to be more of the fancier cups but they're then not up really on the top up there. which actually up here we have a hanging pot rack um, and so I'm not sure how well I'll be able to get in that cabinet behind there um, which this actually is probably one of the most functional things in our house and saves us so 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 much space um, if anybody if you guys I'm not even sure how much my parents bought it for it might have been like 50 bucks or something like that but if you do have a small house with not a ton of space I would so 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 totally suggest investing in one of these because it has saved us an incredible amount of space in our house um, and of course it's a little bit harder to get into here because of it but this is kind of where my mom likes to keep all of the fancier like punch bowls and stuff like that up in there and fancier plates and stuff like that that we normally don't use too often anyway so it's not too bad putting it up there and down in here is all of our um, extra pots and pans like this one won't fit up on the top thing because it doesn't have like a handle that it'll grip with and then all the lids as well we keep then in our, here too. This is the drawer I probably have the most trouble with um, and I have organized it quite a few times but keeping it organized is almost impossible. Um, this has a lot of the bowls and a lot of the like you know plates and things like that for cooking and baking and stuff like that. Um, and there's actually, if you guys can tell, there is a shelf back here, right up here, and um, this, there, it goes underneath as well. So, the one thing though my dad does want to do at some point is actually take this out so that we can have storage that goes deep underneath there because there's nothing on the other side of this, and it would expand a lot of our storage space as well. So, if you guys do have that, like this random miscellaneous space that'll be all the way back there um definitely try and take advantage of it and then down in here uh this is where we keep all of our um what's it called like cookie sheets and cookie racks and um uh what's it called just the sheets baking sheets up here this is the very misorganized silverware drawer this is actually the only drawer that we technically have in our house that is a built-in drawer um in the kitchen cabinet system in our house um and it's just crazy um we have lots of stuff that we'll use and some stuff really that we won't use but it's just it's a lot of stuff and this is another drawer that really has i don't even think it's maybe been organized once or twice in the history of our house so this is definitely something that needs to be addressed as well Alright guys, so here's everything. One tip I can give to you guys 
is honestly if you have the space to be able to do this take everything out of all of your cabinets because it makes things a lot in my opinion more easier to um, organize uh, so I took everything out of all of my cabinets um, as you guys can see there's tons of stuff and hopefully a lot of it we're actually going to be tossing because um, most of the stuff is just random stuff that we don't even use um, so like a lot of the Tupperware stuff, I think we're going to be tossing most of that because I don't even think it has lids anymore for some of it. So yeah, my whole kitchen table is taken up by stuff. But I cleaned out this whole cabinet up here. I also took the thing that was hanging up here down just for now so I could actually get into that cabinet. Um, and that's and down then this here whole right cabinet now. as well. All the cups are all out of there. Um, and I took everything that was in that cabinet because that's more of the like kind of expensive stuff, the breakable stuff. So I put that actually up here on the cabinet counter so it's a little bit more safe um and over here as well and so then the drawers all cleaned out this space under here like I was showing you guys it has two of the shelves or it has the shelf in there as well and then over here this is all taken out with the three shelves in here and then this one which I don't even think you guys could actually see how deep it was before and that's also up there and then this one as well which we have to cock back there again because that thing's coming on and done. Um, so that's what I took out of there. And then um, also in the laundry room too, I took this all of the larger appliances and brought them all down here. So as you guys too. can see all of up there, all of that space is all taken out. So that's what we use all of the larger appliances for. And um, I'm just going to reorganize those a little bit so that they're easier to get to and hopefully save a little bit of space as well. All right, guys. So I have everything all finished and organized. Um, and so this is the cabinet that is above my stove. Um, and it's one that's going to have to kind of be organized again. Um, not because it's not organized, but because a lot of the stuff is between um, like our serving platters and stuff like that, which is kind of what I kept a little bit more up here, except for the fondue set as well. Um, but most of these things um, are kind of either in here or else we have a lot of similar stuff as well in our china cabinet. So this is just kind of, I guess, a little bit of an overflow cabinet of some extra stuff. Um, that isn't in our china cabinet so i don't actually have as you guys can tell the uh pots and pans rack hanging up here just because i wanted to be able to show you guys um this cabinet so i'm going to hang that back up and then show you guys that all right guys so here's the pots and pans rack um up here so basically what we store up here have have stored up here anyway um was just the pots and pans but um also some of the ones we use a little bit more often like the uh noodle strainers and stuff like that um or the noodle spoons and stuff like that we use a little bit more often are up there also our cheese graters up here too because they can hang and then our um different sized um noodle strainers or strainers um and then the pots and pans are all over on this side um i still have two that are in the sink actually that um i didn't have enough space to run the dishwasher yet but there's one spot left there and then there's another one left over there that hook um so that's what we have up and there and then into our cups drawer which is the same drawer i showed you guys as before um down here we basically just keep all the plastic cups and stuff like that because it's easier for a little brother or grandma to reach um the plastic ones which are less breakable and then up there are mainly just the uh, cups and then there's actually two mugs over there these ones are all the glass ones but the two mugs um, are the ones that won't fit and I'll show you guys how I have the uh, mugs organized um, and then up at the top is actually more of the travel um, what's it called travel cups up there and then there's also some way 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 up there are some of the like uh can cooler holder thingies up there so as then well. over here this is just a little bit a ways away from our stairs um a little bit more in our hallway um we keep the coffee mugs um and basically what this is is just a like coat rack um and it's screwed in here to the wall and then we hang all of our coffee mugs on there it's really really nice and easy especially if you have more wall space than you have storage space um such as you know for shelves and um stuff like that and it's really nice too because it's not like something that it's easier to keep the coffee mugs out in the open whereas you don't really need to hide them in a cabinet or anything like that they're kind of cutesy to display this way on the little um coat rack type 
thing and they just hang on there um, for the coffee mug. So like I was saying, the few that don't fit in there, we normally wind up putting in that on that second shelf there. And here is, like I was telling you guys, the only drawer in our house. I reorganized um, all of our utensils. We're actually going to probably need a bigger utensil holder actually. Um, but what I want to do is actually get some of these things from the dollar store to organize this just a little bit better. Um, I couldn't though, I couldn't get out to the store, but just to have it organized at least so it's easier to put the stuff into containers later. I did have this though. It's actually just a um, uh, Dean sour cream um, little thing. And this is really nice because a lot of times when we would go digging through here to try and find stuff, granted now we won't have to dig quite as much, but the one thing that these would always get stuck or something like that um, in little tiny corners and stuff are all the little uh, pokers and um, the corn holders and stuff like that. So this is really nice to keep them in the little things so that they're not getting, um, you know, stuck places and things like that where they don't belong. And then to keep all of the medicine stuff as well, um, just so it's easy to first people to find, especially when they're sick, they don't have to go digging through the rest of the, um, you know, silverware and stuff like that. So underneath actually in the back um, are the things we use a little bit less often and kind of the bigger things too. Like I think there's a pastry, um, pastry what you call it back there and then the like apple or lime lemon lime juicer is also over there and then some of the things we use a little bit more often are kept out here such as the vegetable peeler vegetable cleaners and stuff like that and then all of the like i was saying the other utensils and then all of the measuring spoons are up in here then underneath down in this cabinet, I know it still looks a little cluttered, but it's actually a lot more organized. And at least this way I know where everything is too. So on this side, I put all of the, um, cutting boards. There's also one more that I used last night that like I was telling you guys, it's still in my dishwasher because I didn't have enough stuff to run it yet. Um, but these, I have one strainer here. Um, and these are basically all mixing bowls and such. Um, and then this is actually just a little Tupperware bowl too, but we use that a lot of times for more mixing and stuff like that. Then under here, is all of the this is like a big baking dish and then these are all cupcake trays under here this is a big baking dish but it's also warmer as well and then this is just like a to-go kind of thing as well it would be kind of used in the same purpose as this one and then under there are a little bit more like baking dishes too i guess those are all the more circular ones though and then up here these are like bread trays a little bit more like these ones um and then these are all the square baking dishes um this one i'm not sure it's just kind of a like vegetable i guess it would be for vegetables um and then these are actually little tiny cutting boards and then in here is actually the um our mixer so, um, I didn't wind up putting that with the smaller utensils because we've always kept it down here and it just seems weird to move it now and it fits very nicely right there and I probably wouldn't have been able to find anything else to fit right there. So now under in our garage area here that we have, um, I put the, um, waffle iron. We have a like sandwich press. It's sandwich warmer type thing. Um, and then the blender back there would the, uh, would go back there our normal coffee pot would go um not the keurig we could keep the keurig out but my dad actually used the coffee pot uh this morning for his work um and then i kept straws in these little um umbrella thingies here just because they're easier in reach but um on the counter but they're not actually on the counter because they're hidden away in the garage and then the um snow cone machine is up there Oh, and right then there. right up above the garage, right up here, um, I wound up organ reorganizing all of the uh, Tupperware. So the Tupperware stuff that we use a little bit more like for after dinner stuff and stuff like that is a little bit more out in the front. So this would be like if we had leftovers or something like that, we'd wind up putting them in here. This stuff that we use a little bit less often, such as like the reusable or the containers that were from um, other products, we put in the back. We normally wind up using those for um, like if we've had a party and there's leftovers like from Thanksgiving or something like that and we're giving you know mashed potatoes or something like that for somebody to take home so that they can have a reusable container and they so don't have it's to a lot easier to than us. trying to have to hunt down you know your glass bowl and stuff like that that has your mashed potatoes in it just to put it in a um you know disposable Tupperware and then on this side we have a little bit more of the smaller Tupperware um 
and like more of the to-go to kind of travel little thingies and then in the back there we have a um, mickey mouse um popsicle maker that's from tupperware and then up here in the top cabinet as you guys can see i put all of the pictures on this side um this has some of the larger um stuff as well but mostly mainly just the pictures are over here and then um some of the larger tupperware things um are on this side like um, more storage containers like this one would be for spaghetti um and then on this side i put all of the the water bottles over here which we did get rid of quite a few but a lot of them are like my brother's football ones um so he wanted he wanted to keep those and so the rest of the stuff in there is just basically the um i think there's some this is like a bacon dish for getting keeping the bacon grease off and then little deviled eggs things in here as well which just fit nicely up on the side and since we use them a little less often not too bad to keep them over then there. Then over here in this cabinet we kind of kept things a little bit the same as well. All of the plates are over here and all the breakfast bowls are over here. Then I did wind up moving the ice trays just because a lot of times the ice trays just kind of get in the way when they're in the Tupperware cabinet for us at least and um, we normally we would we have had them in the Tupperware side, but um, have since moved them. And these are kind of just like hot trays and plates and stuff like that. Um, uh, and in the back, I think there's some, I think matches are in one of those little things. And then there's uh, some toothpicks in the other. This is actually for butter. And then uh, these are just like uh, baking utensils a little bit more. I also put my mom's teapot up here. And back there, I think, is a little ice cream sandwich maker. Um, and then up here, I kept these up here. They're just little, um, like, Tupperware um, pours and stuff like that for, like, milks and stuff or creams or whatever. And then these are the little, I forget what these are called, the, like, strainers or something like that. They're for, like, normally using them for powdered sugar. And then we also have, like, a slap top. And I'm not even sure. I think this was for almonds or nuts or something like that, but it's kind of, like, an slap chop as well um and then i wound up putting all the candles over here which i was surprised they actually all fit into one nice uh big ziploc bag and then um also these are just uh skewers and then um bag clips which are something that we have a lot of i didn't even realize and we need to use them a lot more to keep our uh, chips and things like that from going stale all right guys and so last area that i wound up organizing was up here um this is all of our larger appliances that we keep up here um and you guys can see there, this is actually the smaller crock pot that we have, but the larger one I'm using for dinner tonight, so that's why it's not up there. Um, and then those are two roasters. We have a punch bowl, a um, popcorn popper, a food processor, a large pot, and then on top of those, um, we have all of the, like, uh salsa chips and salsa type stuff and serving platters and things like that and then the bread maker is on the end there so that is my reorganization for the kitchen Make sure to subscribe to our daily vlogs if you guys want to check out my couponing videos click here and if you